Murmurs. By definition, murmurs are sustained noises that are audible during the time periods of systole, diastole, or both. They are basically produced by these factors. 1. Backward regurgitation through a leaking valve or septal defect. 2. Forward flow through a narrowed or deformed valve or conduit or through an arterial venous connection. 3. High rate of blood flow through a normal or abnormal valve. 4. Vibration of loose structures within the heart, i.e., chordae tendinae or valvular tissue. Murmurs that occur when the ventricles are contracting, that is, during systole, are referred to as systolic murmurs. Murmurs occurring when the ventricles are relaxed and filling, that is, during diastole, are referred to as diastolic murmurs. Initially, there are six characteristics which you should consider in murmur identification and differentiation. 1. Location, or the valve area over which the murmur is best heard. This is one clue to the origin of the murmur. Murmurs of mitral origin are usually best heard at the apex. Tricuspid murmurs at the lower left lateral sternal border. And pulmonic murmurs at base left. Aortic systolic murmurs are best heard at base right. And aortic diastolic murmurs at herbs point the third intercostal space to the left of the sternum. 2. Frequency, pitch, low, medium, or high. 3. Intensity. Use the 1 to 6 grading system. 4. Quality. Blowing, harsh, rough, or rumbling. 5. Timing. Occurring during systole, diastole, or both. 6. Radiation. Areas where the sound is audible in addition to the area over which it is heard best. Two additional characteristics may be considered as you become more adept at auscultation. These are 1. Finer timing. Determining if murmur occurs early, mid, or late during systole or diastole. 2. Other changes related to respiration, position, special maneuvers, or drugs.